to Mike here and here's a little chore that I've been meaning to get to this is my spare thread pitch gauge and uh, I've been using this one because I can't find my good one and I have a hunch it fell into my chip pan and my lathe and got thrown out with the chips so anyway um, this is the one I've been using and I used it the other day and this little this little side here where the the large size imperial thread gauges go in uh, is pinned on with this little uh, pin here and then this little plastic knob screws in here and you can tighten or loosen it to allow a, the blade that you select to be swung out and used so anyway this is stripped and I need to do something about uh, making a replacement there. So it's 46 degrees in here and I'm just letting the lathe kind of warm up a little bit. I don't know if it's necessary but it makes me feel better and it's easier on the bearings. We'll let it run for about five minutes. This is a 10 inch chuck on this 13 inch lathe and it's really pretty big for the lathe and for the kind of work I'm doing, I'm doing the smaller diameters and really to reach the speeds that I should for the proper uh, surface feet per minute, uh, I probably should not run this lathe that fast. I should probably change to my 5C collet setup, but we'll go ahead and use this for this little quick job here. Again, what I'm doing is I'm getting ready to make those little knobs for that screw pitch gauge. I'll just spin this first diameter back a little bit and start work on the first knob. nothing critical about these ODs. I mean, they're just handoffs. So, let's see, we got uh, 400, uh, 50, 65, 67. So, let's go about 7,000. Seven on the dial. Put a 632 tap toll in there for the little stud. Uh, I gotta find out what the tap drill size is for that. This is, this is what I'm trying to reproduce right here. Focus. Come on, focus. You're not focusing. This is what I'm going to try to reproduce. You blurry son of a gun. So, let's see. That's a uh, double check. That's 400,000. So, and 300 IV. It's in there 85 
Okay, we're going to cheat and use this screw as a stud rather than have to try to chase these little tiny threads on here. So, uh, first of all, here's this is silver solder. We're going to clean the end of this off. Get all the tarnish off. Give this thing every chance that we can to get a good braze joint here. Silver solder joint. Okay. All right. That's clean enough. Now I, I have a little bit of handy flux here. Now if this is if this is dried out, we can always add some water in here. But now I think it's going to be okay. But we don't want to put so much solder in there that it runs down on the on the threads because we don't have a good way to clean those off. So, okay, here all we want to do is put enough silver solder in there to hold that stud in there and keep it from turning. We could use Loctite, but I feel a little more secure with this. Okay, let's give her a shot. You can even use soft solder in here if you wanted to. all the rest of that. We'll let that cool down. Okay guys, I think that'll do. That's how you turn a cheap $10 Chinese screw pitch gauge into a cheap Chinese $15 screw pitch gauge. Alright, that's all for this video. Peace out dudes. Boy, I always wanted to say that. <laughs>